to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Shelley Wordsworth. Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Stage what you're doing. Good. Right. Story makers. <laughs> It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, I'm Shelley Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's have some fun. Mm. Hello. <laughs> it's looking very yummy in the library tonight. Ah. Um, the children were talking about things that they like to eat today, and they made all these pictures of scrummy food. <laughs> Noodly noodles, <laughs> ice cream and jelly. <laughs> no, not the me kind of jelly. The, the kind that you eat that's wobbly and sweet. Mm, Jackson, <laughs> doesn't it look delicious? Oh, yes, it does. Mm, I mm. wish it was real. Then I could eat it all oh, up. Yes. Oh, hi, Jackson. Mm. Oh, hello, hi, Shelley. Yeah. Oh, mm. look at all this lovely food. Mm. Uh, uh, we were just talking about uh, jelly, uh, the wobbly kind, uh, yeah, yeah, like this me. one. Mm. Oh, that looks yummy, tummy, lovely, scrumptious. <laughs> <laughs> if only it were real. I know. I think that calls for a sprinkle of magic. Hmm? Mm. Jelly belly. Ta da! Ta -da! Oh, now, this one's for you, Whoa. Jackson. This one's for you, Jelly. And this one's for me, Goody. Oh, wow. Thank you, Shelly. Well, no, no, it isn't fair. Uh, why has Jackson got the green jelly? I want it because my name's Jelly and I'm green. <laughs> oh. I think Jelly's got the jelly wobbles. <laughs> um, the, the thing is... I didn't know that you wanted the green jelly. <laughs> it's all right, Jelly. Uh, we can swap. Look, you you have yes. the green one, and I will have the red one. Oh, there we are. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Jackson. Mm. Um, sorry, I was grumpy. That's mm. all right. Mm. How about a story while we eat our jelly? Oh, oh yes, yes mm. please. Mm. Yeah. I think I'll use. This picture. Oh, yes, the mm. jelly. Yeah. Now, eat up. I'll be back in a blink. Right okay. mm. Here's a jelly for a story about the wobbles. <laughs> Pop it into the machine. You know what happens next, don't you? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a playbook. And it's called Angry. <laughs> My mum's angry. Angry as can be. My mum's angry. Could it be with me? I didn't get up too early. I sat and played quietly. I gave my teddies breakfast and then I watched TV. My mum's angry. Angry.
angry as can be. My mum's angry. Could it be with me? I ate up all my breakfast and drank up all my tea. I even brushed my teeth myself and washed my fingers clean. My mum's angry, angry as can be. My mum's angry, could it be with me? I dressed myself quite quickly in the clothes put out for me. I brushed the tangles from my hair. I I've been the best I've ever been. So why is Mum so angry? When I've been so good today. Maybe it's something else that's made her feel this way. Oh, I know what it is now. I should have guessed before. The lovely jelly she made for tea is all messy on the floor. Never mind, I'll clear it up. There's really no harm done. I'll just put my apron on. And we'll make another one. Mm. Oh, did you like your jelly, Shelly? Oh, it was sticky, licky, yummy, tummy umptious. Mm. <laughs> oh! Where did Jackson rush off to anyway? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're about to get very wet. Oh, no, 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 no Jackson, no, 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 don't. No, no, Jackson, no, I don't want to get all wet. <laughs> don't worry, Jelly. With a bit of magic, I can Jelly save us from the nasty, squirty monster, OK? <laughs> April showers. Oh, just on. you wait, Mr. Squirty Monster. Once this umbrella's up, you won't be able to get us. Yeah, Mr. Squirty Monster. Oh, that's not fair. Oh. <laughs> 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 Shelly, I'm getting all stuck in. Oh, but it won't work. Oh, I hate it when things don't work. What's the use of an umbrella if it won't go up? <laughs> I think Shelly's got the Shelly wobbles. Oh. Shelly, ah. I don't. You should shout at your umbrella. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry, Jelly. But I just can't bear it any longer. It won't work, so it's going into the story machine, and that's the end of that. In it goes. Oh, and good riddance. <sighs> yep, I feel better already. Now, all we need is a sprinkle of imagination. You know what to do, don't you? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a barnacle rock story and it's called Puffy Love. Papa Clam and Ellie say hi. Hey. Little Ian Harry say ho. Hey. With Grub and Electra they go on a search for treasure. Once upon a tide, at Barnacle Rock, something spiky turned up. Wake up, Barnacles, called Ellie. I found something spiky and colourful on the seabed. The spiky thing lay on the sand looking mysterious. Sticky, yummy, coloured spiky! Chimed the Barnacles. I wonder what it is. Perhaps we should ask Papa Clam. Papa Clam! Ellie called. Clammy's lazy sleeps on Daisy. Oh well, Ellie sighed. I suppose we'll just have to wait until he shows himself. She wobbled off to find Electra. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gruff the pufferfish swam out from behind his slimy stone to take a closer look at the spiky treasure. Hello. He nudged its button with his nose, and it puffed out to an enormous size. Well, 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 a lady puffer fish. He crooned. Aren't you lovely? I'm a... well, I'm charmed to meet you. Meanwhile, Ellie found Electra and Harry, who had been helping the seahorse baby learn her numbers. 
Would you like to come and see my spiky thing? She asked. Yes, please, cried the seahorse baby. Come on then, follow me. Oh, Ellie and the rest of the sea creatures crept up on Gruff and the spiky thing. What do you think Gruff's up to? What's Ellie Gruff whispered. To? Would you like to see my den? Gruff was asking the spiky thing. I think you'll like it. It's behind a beautiful slimy stone. The spiky thing said nothing. Well, uh, later perhaps. Oh dear, whispered Ellie. Gruff thinks a spiky thing is another puffer fish. Papa Clam had finally woken up and joined Ellie and the other creatures. That's no puffer fish, said Papa Clam, trying his hardest not to let out an enormous guffaw. That, my girl, is an umbrella. Mm. The people up top use it to keep dry when it rains. Gruff gave the umbrella a big, sloppy kiss. Kissy, kissy, puffer fishy, chimed the barnacles. What's all the kerfuffle about? Gruff grumbled. Come out, all of you. I know you're in there. The sea creatures showed themselves. Now then... Gruff looked very cross. Who would like to tell me what's so funny? That isn't a puffer fish, giggled the seahorse baby before anyone could stop her. It's an umbrilli lalala. Well, I... Well, of course, I, I knew that. Gruff looked sad. Don't worry, Gruff. Laughed Ellie. I'm sure you'll find a girlfriend one day. Oh, poor Gruff. Mm. He was grumpy because everyone was laughing at him. Yeah, you were grumpy just now, weren't you, Shelley? Um, yes, mm. sorry about that. I was grumpy because the umbrella wouldn't work. Mm. You know, everybody gets angry sometimes. Mm. Some people stamp when they get angry. Mm. And some people shout. Mm. Ah! <laughs> and back with my squirter. Stop Okay, Mr. Squirty Monster. Hand over your squirter. Oh, but I really like it. Yes, but I can change it into something that you like even more. Splashing, flashing. Yeah! Oh, yeah, that's a laser sword. <laughs> 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 take your laser sword and put it in the story machine and make a laser sword story. Hmm. Hmm? What do you think of that? Jackson, hmm. do you want me to come with you to look after you? Hmm. Hmm. Come on then. <sighs> I hope we can make a story about a laser sword that works. Hmm. We'll need some imagination. You'll help, won't you? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story. And it's called Film Star Blue Cow. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking out at the woods nearby. I wonder if you can become famous in a wood. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a wood where I can become famous, please. There you go, madam. I'll hold very tight. And they set off for Hollywood. And then they arrived. There was a huge camera 
lots of lights, and some people dressed in rather strange costumes. Excuse me, is this the place where I could become famous? Sure, buddy. Join the queue. <laughs> Laughed a man with a tan. We're shooting a movie, Space Wars 14. It's all going wrong! We're running out of time! Screamed an angry man with a beard. Where's the monster creature? I don't know, Mr. Spielbeard, said a blonde woman called Marcy. I think he's still at the gym. Right! He's fired! He got up and threw his director's chair across the set, narrowly missing Blue Cow. That man really is very angry, thought Blue Cow. Perhaps that's his job. Then Mr Spielbeard spotted Blue Cow. Hey, who are you? That's a great alien costume! Uh, well, it's not actually a costume, started Blue Cow. But you've got the part! Someone give the lady a laser sword! Marcy gave Blue Cow a bright green laser sword. Now, babe, you're our new baddie, Daft Raider. We're filming a fight with the hero here, OK? Ooh, hello. How you doing? Action! Shouted Mr Spielbeard, and Blue Cow had a laser sword fight with the hero. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is quite easy, she thought. <laughs> Cut! Shouted Mr Spielbeard. Brilliant! You're a natural! You've got the part for the rest of the movie! So, Blue Cow flew through space, acted with robots, Hello. and had more laser sword fights. She was so good, she even won an Oscar. I deserve the Oscar, not that stupid Blue Cow! Screamed Steven Spielbeard. But no one was listening because they were cheering Blue Cow. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to Hollywood and I acted in a film and won an Oscar. Everyone knows that cows can't act. But we know they can. Don't we? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Spielbeard was very angry in the beginning, wasn't he? Yeah, he was so angry that he throwed his chair. Yeah. It's not good to throw things, is it, Shelley? No, 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 it's not. No. But you don't seem to be angry anymore, Jackson. That's very good. <laughs> well, the blue cow story has made me happy. Mm. Oh, now my little jelly queen and my handsome prince. Mm. The sun has come up and it's time for us to disappear. Mm. Do you know, Shelley, sometimes mm. I get so angry when we have to leave because I just want to stay right here and make some stories. Aww. Oh, yes, yes, Jelly, but the children will be here soon. Mm, and mm. we'll get a chance to make lots more stories. Mm. Mm. Dawn is upon us and the morning is nigh. Yes. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. 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 <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story See you makers, soon. Bye. Fabulous stories are fun. Thanks for helping us. Goodbye. Story makers, Bye, story makers. Come back to the library again soon. Story makers, story makers.